Hello. Good morning to you. How are you today? Happy Monday. I'm coming to you early today because I have other things in my diary for today and I am going to be switching up a little bit about how these weekly tarot insights are done. I'm going to be shifting to um, slightly later in the week just to facilitate um, my team who now assist me with the admin and the bits and pieces to do with this. So over the course of the next few weeks, I will be gradually moving them to a slightly later date in the week. But don't worry, you will still get your cards for the week ahead um and some thoughts and some musings along the way this week's kind of exciting in that we have our friday the 13th coming up um a day that strikes fear into the heart of many um but it's a day that i absolutely love it's a real day full of goddess energy and if you check on my profile you'll see i've shared a link to a blog post that i published this morning to um illuminate the or the sort of the origins and the where this sort of fear and this myth of Friday the 13th being an unlucky day came from. And I think once you read it, you'll perhaps see that there's no need to fear this day. If anything, it is a day full of goddess energy. It's a day full of divine feminine, a day full of you stepping into your power, you stepping into being the, the vessel for the energy that you wish to manifest in life. So I also have a special bundle available as well, and you'll see a link in this video for it um, as the video goes on. So please feel free to grab that. If you are watching live, give me a wee hello. If you're watching on the replay, again, make sure that you leave me a wee hashtag replay just so that I know you've caught the cards for the week. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments let me know how it feels for you as you as i read these cards they're interesting this week i have literally just turned them over and um there's three tens we've got the ten of wands then we have got the wheel which is card number 10 from the major arcana and then we have the ten of pentacles so it's an interesting an interesting spread this uh this week and i think um it's a sign that there's really it's time for completions it's a time for new beginnings it's a time for just perhaps ending some cycles in life and starting some new ones um which is kind of appropriate given that we're about to step into eclipse season as well and we've got this real cosmic energy october as you know is one of my favorite months of the year um and this this year this month we have got not only a friday the 13th but we have got eclipse season we have also got um you know halloween and Halloween coming up so we've everything coming up this month that kind of fills my little heart full of joy so um let me know how you feel about friday the 13th let me know how you feel about this week as you're stepping into it um what's your energy like are you tired are you full of energy are you loving life what's going on what's going on for you this week um you may notice i am a little tired today i stepped in today i've been working all weekend so um saturday i was teaching the final level one reiki class for 2023 and it was a full class it was gorgeous energy beautiful all day and then yesterday i was with st john um teaching my our new our new volunteers at first aid um it was day three of their four day course and it's been running on sundays for the last little while so um weekend was full on so hence i'm coming to you early today because i am going to take a little bit of time off later on this afternoon practice what i preach i'm going very shortly to have a beautiful acupuncture session with the fabulous connie mercer so i'm going to go and do that and uh, then spend the day just unwinding before going into soul food circle tonight where we have the fabulous jj clark gordon um an award-winning life and confidence coach coming in to speak to us inside soul food circle tonight so really excited about that as well so let me know if you're here watching me like me hello let me know what's going on with you let me know how you feel about friday the 13th let me know what you think of these cards as they come up so i'm using the light sears tarot deck again this week because it's my, my new favorite deck i'm loving life with it um, and as i said we've got three tens so the first card that came up was the ten of wands then we got the wheel then we got the ten of pentacles each one with a number 10 on it 10 being the end the completion the end of a cycle but also 
converts to a one, which is a new beginning. So end of cycles, new beginnings. Is that the vibe that's going on for you this week? Are things completing? Are things wrapping up? Are you approaching the end of something? And are you in the process then of spinning a few plates in order to make something new come along? Um, that's the feeling I'm getting from these cards this week. So the first one then, the Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands card, I love this particular deck because it's so much more uplifting than the Radiant Rider Weight. Um, however, it's still based on the same principles. Um, and in this one, you can see that it depicts, um, you know, a girl coming down a mountainside. She has clearly come down over that hill. She has got um, like a bull or a mule with her that has um, lots of carrying lots of packs and um, luggage for her and she's carrying quite a bit herself and the wind is blowing from behind her it's blowing her skirt out from you know from behind her so it's like the wind is at her back and it tells me that this card in particular reminds me of sort of you've been through you've been through it and now you've come down the other side and now the wind is at your back and you're feeling supported now instead of having to do it all by yourself um and because of that, I think that it's a time this week to give yourself a real sort of give yourself appreciation and give yourself the grace of being happy to see how far you have come. You have managed to get all the way down this little mountainside. You have managed to get over the hurdle. You are on the downward slope. You are on the homeward run and it is nearly finished. And you can rest assured that you now can rest and relax as a result of getting through the challenges that you have come through um as i say the wind is behind her so it's pushing is driving her forward so there is forward momentum here to carry you home it is time for you to finish up the thing that you know that you need to wrap up now you no longer have to do everything by yourself and it's okay to ask for help and as you can see she has help here in the shape of the uh, the mule that's come with her to help carry her heavy burdens. So a nice card, um, you know, a card that often the Ten of Wands, you know, there's an, an energy of feeling tired and overburdened and exhausted and have taken on too much. But in this particular deck, the card has a much more positive feel to it. It has that sort of vibe of, you know, I've done really well. I've managed to get over this and I've managed to keep going and I'm now on the home straight and I know I can get there and I know I can wrap it up and then I can rest. So it's about allowing yourself to ask for help. Make sure you're not trying to do everything by yourself and allow the things to come now to their natural end. Give yourself a big round of applause and a pat on the back for getting through things so far. You no longer have to do it all by yourself now. OK. Um, get advice perhaps maybe maybe the mule is you know it's a little bull or the mule in this card is reminding you that other people can share your load other people you know so is there people that you can delegate to is there people you can um go to for help or advice is there mentors you can use are there teachers you can lean into are there friends family members who can you who can offer you assistance to help you get across the final hurdle and get you to where you need to be okay so but you've come so far you've done so well and the wind is at your back now pushing you forward so the completion is almost in sight hang in there if you're if there's something going on i don't know why it's coming to me but as if i don't know if you have a house completion or something coming up or anything like that or legals that you've been pushing and pushing and pushing it's nearly there hang on hang in there hang in there it's okay then we've got another 10 this time from the major arcana so the wheel the Wheel of Fortune, and you can see that it depicts this um, this character standing on top of spinning wheels. Um, from one side, she has beautiful white energy, and from the other side, the dark black energy. And it's about that yin and yang. It's about the, the light and the dark. The two coming together, the things are needed to weave and to create that cycle and that beautiful energy and life that you need in order to keep momentum going. So with the Ten of Wands, we're nearly at the end of the path, but we still need to keep our momentum going for everything. There is a place, a time and a season. What is the season for you now? We are entering eclipse season, as we know. So it is a time to clear out, to get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore for you to um, set down the things that no longer work for you and to start bringing in for the rest of this year. We've got three months left of this gorgeous year. How are you going to end this year? Are you going to end it on a high? Are you going to actually be stepping into your own power? Are you going to be stepping into who you really want to be? And that's the essence of this wheel card. It's about you controlling your fate. 
Morning, Kay. Um, <clears throat> it's about you controlling your fate. It's about you stepping into your own power. It's about you spinning the plates in a way that works for you. Not so much that you need to completely drain yourself to the point of exhaustion, okay, but to the point of allowing life to flow. Because when you step onto the wheel of fortune and you lie, you understand that when things are up, that's great, but things will come down too. But when things are down, they'll also not always be there and they'll come back up again. So it's about that cycle. Perhaps maybe stepping into lunar energy as well and stepping into the cycle of the moon and tapping into that, you know, particularly because we have these eclipses coming up. You know, very, very important that you use the cosmic energy that's all around you. So notice what are the cycles, what are the repeating patterns, what are the things that are going on? Is it time for you to end something? Is it time for you, as I said previously, to step in and get some help, get some, you know, whatever you need to get you to the next stage so that you can step into the next cycle of your life? Because that is definitely the very big vibe for this week with all these tens. And then our final card for this week is our ten of pentacles. And again, another ten and a great ten. The Ten of Pentacles being the card of ultimate abundance and legacy building, um, a card of pure financial freedom and independence and you not needing to worry anymore about abundance. And it doesn't have to be about financial abundance. It can be abundance in your health, abundance in your social life, abundance in your family life, abundance in your in your bank balance, if that's what it is. It can be abundance in lots of different ways. So the Ten of Pentacles has come along here again. <clears throat> following this ten of wands following the wheel and um, the ten and the major arcana we've got all these tens completions end of cycles start of something new so the ten of pentacles talks about that legacy building about you you know everything coming to fruition and you having everything that you need in a material sense and everything that will support you and create that stability and that structure for you but it also then talks about the legacy of it and about the fact that you can then start to share that with other people that you can start to ripple that abundance mindset across into other people and create a legacy that you will be a part of and that you will be remembered for. So it's a beautiful card and it's a beautiful energy to end the week on. And again, as I said, at the top of this, you know, we have Friday the 13th this week. It's a, it's a day that frightens the life out of so many people. <clears throat> but hopefully if you read the blog post that I have posted earlier this morning, it will give you a little bit of insight into why you don't need to fear that day and why that day is full of gorgeous beautiful divine feminine energy and you can in fact pick up a little bundle about that just um that i have a special offer on this week for it as well where you can awaken your divine inner goddess um and grab a wee meditation bundle and um information so the link's in the in the video i think for you i'll drop it into the comments later too um but this ten of pentacles is really speaking to me about that you know, you can see the fun in this card you can see there's like you know so it's an abundance in all ways it's not just abundance of 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 money it's an abundance of happiness abundance of joy abundance of contentment abundance of your well-being and your well-being might be that you need to finish the thing that you know isn't working for you anymore so that you can step into the new way of being it might be that you need to end a way of working so that you can step into a better, more empowered way of working. It might be that you need to end particular um, acquaintance or relationship that you have so that you can step into a more empowered way of being. OK, that's what the energy of these tens is all about. You know, so we've got these gorgeous tens. We've got the ten of wands. We've got the ten of the wheel and we've got the uh, ten of pentacles. I think the fact that the major arcana card, the wheel, is sitting at the centre of these cards um, really is speaking to me in that that's the central theme. So the wheel is sitting as that central theme that you need to be able to be adaptable, you need to be able to be flexible, but you need to allow things to come to an end so that new things can come in and so that you can constantly you know, dance with that energy. And as you can see with the card, you know, we've got the dark and the light and it's about that interplay of light and dark, of light and shadow, neither to be feared. Okay, the dark is not something to be feared. It's often where your power stands. It's often where you feel totally protected. So it's the two things coming in together, weaving together, light and shade, light and shade, weaving the two together, building up and you creating and manifesting the life that you want to lead. But I'll leave you with the thought of, 
please congratulate yourself for how far you've come. You're nearly at the end now. You can keep just this is the final push this week. The wind is now at your back, as you can see, as it's like pushing from behind her and driving her back down this hill. She has now got the help of the little mule to help carry her load. She is spreading that that effort amongst other people and is nearly home. Take that advice. Don't do everything by yourself and hang in there. You're nearly there. Balance your energies with bringing in the light and the dark. Allow yourself to honour both sides. Um, allow yourself to stay flexible and adaptable as you step into the seasons of your life this week and allow what needs to come to a natural end to come to an end so that new things can come in for you. And as a result of doing all that, you will then build the legacy, the abundance and the gorgeousness of health, wealth and joy that you want with this beautiful Ten of Pentacles. So that's your messages for this week. Um, let me know in the comments what you think once you've caught up with the video. Um, leave me a hashtag replay if you're catching the replay. And as always, whatever you're up to this week, have a fantastic one. I love that, Kay. Kay has said in the comments, I'm welcoming abundance in health. Thank you. You are most welcome, my darling. And yes, an abundance in health. Abundance doesn't have to just be money, folks. Um, and nor should it be. Um I think it's very important that we, we have that abundance of time, abundance of health, abundance of wealth, abundance of space, all those things, abundance of freedom. And that's certainly what I'm doing. And as I say, even though I was working and teaching all weekend, I'm going to take that message for myself and I am now off to get some beautiful acupuncture and to take a couple of hours out before I go into my membership this evening with the fabulous JJ Clark Gordon who's bringing in her feel of fear and do it anyway talk tonight for the members really really excited um to do that and to to see how that goes a lot of the members inside soul food circle are beyond beyond excited themselves because there is a feeling of this sort of um, stepping into this final part of the year and ending on a high, really doing the things that they want to do. So sometimes fear holds us back. But don't be frightened of Friday the 13th. Read the um, the blog article that I posted on my wall earlier on this morning and step into your own empowered state as we move through this week. Have a great week. Um, keep in touch with me through the week if there's anything I can do to help you out along the way you know where to find me and as I say there's space in the diary over this next few weeks um, for readings and clarity sessions so if you want one just hit me a wee PM um, and I will get in touch with you and we can sort that out have a great week speak to you all soon